Hello everyone, this is the Swedish Game Dev and I'm back with another short GDevelop tutorial. In this short tutorial we're going to check out uh, two extensions. We're going to check out the screen wrap extension and the linear movement extension to create a simple arcade style game, just like the one you see in the background. Okay, so let's get started. The really cool thing about GDevelop is that it has a lot of pre-made code that you can use to make your games called extensions. Some of these extensions are made by the GDevelop team and some of them are made by the community. So let's check out two extensions right now, the screen wrap and the linear movement. First, go up to the project manager up here in the left corner and click it and then you will find your extensions down here. So click here to search for a new extension. And we will first search for screen and we will find a few screen related extensions. And the one we'll be using today is screen wrap. Click it and then click install in project. Okay, let's check out the state of the game right now. We click preview and we see our wizard and he is now gonna fall off the face of the earth. Goodbye wizard. And that's not what we want. We want the old arcade style that he will go out here and he will teleport here. And this is very easy to achieve by just double clicking our player. And we'll now click add a behavior and we'll click the new screen wrap extension. And there is actually not much to do here. You can play around with these numbers, but it can be used as is. So we click apply and boom, there it is. Now, if we click preview, you see that our wizard will pop up from the other side, just like in the old school games. Okay, so far so good, but we want to bring some life to these ghosts so they can haunt us and go across the screen. And to make this possible, we first have to install a new extension and that is linear movement. So we'll go back to the project manager, click it and click search for new extensions. And then we will print linear and we will find linear movement. And just click it and install in project. And you probably guessed it, we want to install this behavior into our ghost. So we will double click the ghost and add behaviors, add behavior, and then linear movement. And this ghost, we want to go from left to right. And so on the X axis, which is this way, and we will put the number 100 pixels. And now if we preview the game, you can see that the ghost is coming and he's uh, trying to hunt us, but he will still uh, not be wrapped and so he will not return into the screen. To make the ghost teleport back, we have to double clicking and add another behavior. And that is, you probably guessed it, the screen wrap. And now we'll click apply and we press preview. We will see our ghost, he is hunting us again. And this time, if we are lucky and everything works as it should, he will return. Yes, he is back. We now have a scary ghost that keeps haunting us forever. And if we do the same thing with ghost number two, we add the screen wrap behavior and the linear movement behavior. And since we want him to move from right to left, we have to put in a negative number on the X axis. Okay, let's try this a final time. We press preview and voila, our ghosts are now haunting the entire level. And let's see if the other ghost also pops up. Yes, it does. And we have to avoid him and then we'll go here and voila, we have finished the level. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope you'll have a nice day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.